And they're not just practice players, they're a part of our roster. And um, they just don't get to play on game day. They're giving us so much more than what we're giving them, in my opinion. They're definitely my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> We are here to support them, build them up, get 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 them ready for the game. Just help help them, like like both the coach and the players. Because I don't think they told us they were coming at first, and so I was just kind of like, oh, what are, what are they doing here? And I think that at first the girls were like. What's, why we got guys coming in? Right? Well, we've got extra girls here. Why are we bringing in more players? So rather than having, I don't know, the 33rd, 34th, 35th best player from the girls' standpoint, trying to raise the level of our best players, we bring guys in who are potentially better than our best players, and that for therefore raising the level of our stronger players. You know, I've never actually trained with boys before, and this was definitely a new perspective, and um, it's been going great so far. They're awesome. The focus and the intensity and the, and the aggression and the, the speed of play, as coach mentioned, it, it's invaluable. To make them win, we have to come in and practice, or we have to help the coaches. So all my tasks I, I'm doing right now, it's all my pleasure, because I've got so many help when, when I, back in when I used to play in, in Japan. So now I feel like it's time to give it back to next generation. Well, I'm from Toyota. Probably you, you guys may know Toyota City. That's a, the car city. After graduating high school, I found out uh, studying abroad and stuff. So I decided to take a try and study abroad and stuff and see how it's going. And I've been like five years right now, like I, when I realized it. <laughs> I am from Osaka, which is number one city in Japan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm majoring in computer science here. That's kind of dream to you know study and get a job here. I mean, they're all firstly um, obsessed with soccer. You know, they all love soccer, which which. Um, that mentality I wanted to bring to the team as well. Those guys log, they log the subs, they log the formations, they log who's coming in for who. And that is, a, again, I heard, I heard Coach saying it, but it's a small task, a thankless task, but if we don't get that, then we don't get the data back from the game. So They'll put the stuff away, they'll be putting out combs, they'll be, whatever it might be, there's no job too small for them, and um, I love that. Now that they're on the bench, they'll help us, you know, kind of tactically, because they can see the game from the outer, you know, you can't really see certain things on the field and they see it. So they'll pull us aside, they'll tell us what needs to be done and what we can do better. And Decision making is quick, uh, passes, they're good quality passes, um, physically, like, run fast. Um, and he just, he really does bring up the level of the game. I've been playing soccer like 18 years right now. I just did play soccer all the time. So I didn't hang out with my friend pretty much. I just try to focus on, you know, soccer practice, soccer practice. And like I try to be able to become a professional soccer player. He and me placed like similar position, like number six. We were in a Balsa camp, so we, not the same, but similar like soccer philosophy. Well, the, the Balsa on the camp, the, the players uh, get together from, um, in, in Japan, around Japan. I didn't know that he wasn't there. Well, I look at my, looking back my past photos and he was there. <laughs> I was like, wow, is that crazy? Like 10 years ago. When I told him my last name, he was like, wait. I might heart of it. And I was like, what? And then he just looked up in the photos. Yeah. And then he and found then, like, it. Was that you? And then she was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We, we've got an amazing job, you know, at soccer. We come to work every day with a smile on our face, and they do the same thing, uh, and, they, and they just they just fit right in. Um, I, you could ask any any of the girls in the team, and they, not one of them would have a single bad thing to say about any of them at all, ever. Sometimes we're having rough days, and we're um, kind of slow to start practice and stuff like that. They're always there to lift up the spirits, and it's, it's awesome. Last year, when we got back from the NCAA tournament, um, we surprised the guys 
with um, the medallions that we get, because the team gets medallions for making the NCAA playoffs, and um, so we ordered some extra ones because they're teammates as well. It was great to bring that back to them and see their faces just like light up. I don't think they were expecting that either, so it was great to just give it to them because they do, they help us a lot and they help us become better players. I, I was happy. <laughs> I, at that time, like, I, I feel like, oh, I'm in a part of, part of the team. So I was so glad to get them that like small medals. Yeah. Players always talk to me like, "Well, you guys are a part of the team, so you, we 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 do together everything." So that feels makes me like feels like more um, grateful, you know, and really makes me happy. Yeah, I would say like a brother. I think they're like brother teammates, everything. Inan and Kenta. Oh, just you know, they're my sisters. <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs>